How are we doing guys? I hope we're well. Back with another video and today I'm here at Sundridge Park and we're going to start the first of a four part series guys which is going to be all about uh, my ideas on, on how you can dress better on the golf course which hopefully will make you feel better on the golf course, inspire a little bit of confidence and then basically play better. So uh, you know that age old saying of look good, feel good, play good. We're here at Sundridge Park, we're going to have a few holes on the golf course course the course does look beautiful freshly cut absolutely lovely so guys let's get into it okay my first tee shot I've just put a UDI from TaylorMade in the bag uh, and I'm walking down the middle of the fairway look pretty good from the tee so uh, let's uh, let's see if we can find it down here how are we doing guys? I hope we're well. Something a little new to the channel, so I do hope you enjoy this nine hole video. It was great to get out at Sundridge Park Golf Club. So uh, guys, do enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned for the back end of the video where I'll be telling you all about my FootJoy giveaway. Pretty good. Okay, so. Second shot played, looks like we've got about, looks about six, seven feet from here. That's a pretty good wedge shot, I'd say. Okay, so we had a birdie at the first and another birdie at the second, um, which is a little unlike me. I should probably carry the camera around a little more often. Uh, now we are playing the par five third. So this is probably my favorite hole on the golf course, I'd say. And if you have a little look at it down here, it looks just absolutely lovely with the, uh, you zoom down there, just absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get involved. Love this hole when it plays downwind. Okay, so the hole is playing a little down breeze, so I managed to get one out there. Just about grabbed the right hand side of the fairway, and this is what we have left into the hole. Yeah, I think we've got a good chance of making birdie, may even make an eagle. Okay, after having a pretty simple second shot in from the fairway from 173, I've left myself with a chip, unfortunately. So, uh, so we've got chip, try and get this up and down for three birdies on the bounce. So uh, let's have a go. T-shirt on the fourth on the way. We are hunting four birdies in a row now. Let's hit that second shot. Okay, so T-shot is in play. We just snuck into the left semi. We do have the flag in front of us. We've got a little tree action going on on the left, but hopefully that is not gonna get in the way. Looks to be somewhat around maybe 120 odd yards. So let's get it. Second shot looked to be okay. We could be a little maybe off the back edge of the green. We might have just held. So let's have a look. This is where we've ended up. So we've got a little funky lie, but we still got a chance maybe of a little chip in. Yes, the only way to end a, uh, a birdie run is with a bogey. Okay, so four holes in, guys. So 
birdie the first three. Lovely, unfortunately, sloppy bogey there from the uh, back edge of the green on the fourth. Uh, leads me to, uh, to have a little sit down and tell you a little bit more about the video today. So I know I said at the start that the video was going to be a first of a four-parter, uh, and we're going to look at the ways that you can dress better to hopefully inspire a little bit more confidence in your game and make you look a little better on the golf course as well. So first part to the video, guys, okay? So we're going to talk about shoes. We're going to talk about the different types of shoes that you can wear in order to make you feel and look a little bit better on the golf course. Now, there are two types of shoes that you can wear. You can wear the sportier pair of shoes. So if I go up here with the Pro SLs, the Tour S's, Adidas Tour 360s, 360 knits, they're all sportier looking shoes, okay? If you like your classic shoes, then you'll be looking at the Icons. Are you gonna be looking at a couple of like the older models like the Stuberts, the Darren Clark ones? They're the little more brogy type shoes, okay? So they're gonna be the ones that you're gonna look at. Now, very important with with the shoes, if you're gonna wear a sporty pair of shoes, you wanna wear a sportier outfit, okay? So when I say sportier outfit, you can have a, uh, a little baggier pair of trousers on. You haven't gotta go really, really slim fit on the trousers. Uh, and also you can go a little bit baggier on the tops. If you're gonna wear a more classic shoe, then you wanna have a little slimmer fitting trouser, maybe one with a, of a crease that goes down the middle. If you're gonna wear your sportier look, then you can go for more of a flat front trouser. That is the first part. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more later on in the nine holes, the ways that to maximize your look based on what you're wearing on your feet. So guys, let's get into the rest of the nine holes. Okay, fifth hole, probably the toughest of the par threes out on the golf course. We have a little zoom in. We'll be able to see there. We've got a little uh, brook that runs just short of the green, so we're going to have to carry that. It's about, mm, about 195 odd yards today, so uh, let's see what we can do. Okay guys, so second part of the video today, I wanna to talk about the colored shoes that you wear, okay? So very important if you are, uh, if you're able to grab yourself at least two pairs of shoes to your collection, I'd like you to grab a white pair, and I'd like you to grab a black pair, okay? Black pair should be worn, black belt, black cap, if you can. White pair should be worn with, yeah, I mean you could go with a navy belt if you're gonna wear a navy pair of trousers, but go with a white cap, okay? Always. I mean, your basic really is to basically match the cap with the shoes. Uh, that's kind of the uh, kind of the most important part of when you're pairing together shoes and outfits. Okay, so if you're not going to wear a cap, then just try and make sure that, uh, that you don't whack on a white belt with a black pair of shoes, because the fashion police will be out to get you. Okay, guys, after the pull off the tee. Oh, just such a bad swing. Uh, we have now got, the ball is down here, as you can see there, and yeah. I'm not really gonna enjoy this one a hell of a lot, I don't think, but uh, let's give it a go. Right, we are the other side of the green. We now have this, it's a fairly routine shot to the flag, so, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this one close and make bogey at least, because otherwise we are back to level par for the round after such a glorious start. Well, that'll teach me from short side of myself. Okay, so tee shot on the sixth hole is down the right hand side in the right rough. It's a par five, about 500 odd yards. The fit for today, so my outfit, I've come out for a few holes this afternoon. I have Juice's IK pants. Uh, they are an absolutely fantastic pant. I will be bringing a full review to the channel of those soon. They are very, very stretchy, massively water repellent with Juice's DWR treatment. Also got a Hugo Boss zip up. The Hugo Boss uh, knitwear is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I do have the Tor 360 knit triple blacks. 
black outfit, black out, black out. Had a fresh trim today, so we've left the cap in the car. Let's finish off these nine holes. Looks like we might have some fairly inclement weather on the way. Okay guys, so after we had pars at six and seven and eight after our horrific double bogey on the fifth hole. Uh, we're on the ninth, I'm only playing nine, so this is my last hole. We have a par three to finish, it's playing 161 yards. As you can see down there, trees either side. I mean, it's a really nice finishing hole. So hopefully we can finish with a par or a birdie, get us around in either under par or level par for the nine holes, and then we'll have a little recap. So guys, let's get it. Okay, so the tee shot on the ninth hole was just short of the green. Uh, we should have a fairly routine chip and a putt. Okay guys, so it is giveaway time. So I've teamed up with FootJoy for this giveaway, which I am very, very excited about. So I will put this picture up on my Instagram page. So do go over to my Instagram page, the golf fashion guy, go over there and like the picture and follow me on Instagram. Also, this video, you will need to comment in the comment section below on this video the shoe that you would like and the size that you are, and then please subscribe to the channel as well. So uh, there's four things that you need to do there. You need to go over to Instagram, like the picture, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to me on here, and comment in the comment section below with the shoe that you would like and the size. I'll pick the winner at random, and then I'll get in contact some way shape or form with that person and i will be sending the pair of shoes that they've written in the comment section below i'll be sending those shoes out so good luck everyone get entering and i will see you all very soon back to the video i'm not gonna lie i think i might just wuss out and get the putter on this so uh, i do apologize all those uh, all those good chippers out there i'm sadly just not one of you Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. A quick fashion recap. So if you're gonna wear a sporty pair of shoes, try and get yourself a sporty pair of trousers, classic pair of shoes, a classic pair of trousers. And if you can get white shoes with a matching white cap and same with a black, okay? So when you get a little better at it, you can mix the uh, the cap color with the trousers, etc., etc. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. A handy nine holes, nice to get out for a few holes on a lovely summer's evening, albeit wearing a jumper don't forget to enter the giveaway that will go live in a couple of days guys i look forward to seeing you all very soon